The voice actor for Morph in X-Men 97 is a radical queer activist. And that's okay. Now, there's some people here on YouTube that would have you believe that activism is not good. And I completely disagree with that. I think activism is very important. It's very important to communities to make them better, to be aware of some of the problems plaguing that community and try and fix those things. Activism has made things better for a lot of people, a lot of marginalized groups out there. I think it is a really strong way to let your voice be heard and to give back to your community. So I think activism is really, really good. Now you could argue which activism works better than the other ones, which one is more effective, which one I would avoid. But I think activism as a whole is looked at with like as a dirty word. And it's not. I think activism is very important. X-Men 97 Morph, voice actor on Backlash over describing character as non-binary. It didn't surprise me at all. And we got a few quotes here in this article that I want to talk about. The reaction from a certain sector of fans didn't surprise Carliac. I'm a queer activist. I run a nonprofit that advocates for queer representation. I also co-founded a voter registration organization. I know that what's going on in the world, especially politically. So no, it didn't surprise me at all. So no shock. These people were speaking out against uh, more uh, being non-binary. And yeah, I mean, I agree with JP here. Uh, I wasn't shocked either. And I'm actually a little bit like impressed that he is that tuned in to what's going on on social media, because I think it's really important if you are an activist to be aware of some of the things that are happening online. They go on to say, I think what I appreciated was how much counter backlash there was. People like us, yes. With people like, have you watched the X-Men? Are you familiar with why they were created and what they're about? Did you forget that? That was reassuring, he added. So see, I've been telling you guys that all of this like pushback we've been giving, jumping into the algorithm and fighting back against all of this content that just kind of punches down on marginalized people. By doing what we're doing, we are making a difference. JP sees it. The rest of the world is going to see it. People on social media are going to see it. It makes it better when people can search something up and they might see like one of these like negative videos, one of these hate videos when it goes towards queer representation. And then in that bubble, they also see videos that are uplifting the community and talking positively about these characters. I think it's really important. There was one article that called me a radical queer activist and listed the insidious mission statement of my organization, Queer Vox. Verbatim of what was on the website, he continued, I was like, facts, no lies here. Thanks for promotion. And this is how more people need to be. When you're being an activist for marginalized communities, you need to stop acting as if things like woke and activism in general are considered evil and negative things. They're not. And this is the brush that the hate community tries to do. They try to brush all of these things like activism and progress, diversity, all of these things as just like a blanket, evil, negative, bad thing. And it's not. Can these things be done poorly? Can they be done in a way that doesn't ac come across correctly and, and those kinds of things? Yes, there are isolated incidents where that does happen, but that's not what they're saying. They literally go out AstroTurf and blanket every single thing diverse and different and promoting uh, marginalized communities and go, this is bad. This is awful. Bad writing. Um, they'll come up with a million reasons why it's bad that doesn't actually address the root of the problem, which is lack of actual, true, genuine representation in Hollywood. And they go on to say here, two things about me. One, as far as I know, we're never going to say that word non-binary because nobody said the word non-binary in the 90s. Of course, what we've all been saying, it wouldn't make sense for that term to be used in the 90s. It's not that it didn't exist. It just was in no way a mainstream term at that time. And that's absolutely true. Uh, Morph's understanding of who he is, and he says he, could equate to what a modern person would say as non-binary, but he just doesn't have the terminology for it. At the same time, they, them wasn't a concept in terms of using it as a pronoun. Very interesting. So it seems here, according to JP, that Morph also goes by he. So they, them, he, which is very common in the non-binary community. Some people use multiple sets of pronouns depending on their fluidity. So I think that's really cool. So he's going back here and saying that, look, we're not really changing anything or making it more modern or using terms that weren't used in the 90s. We're just saying for lore's sake, so you understand the backstory of this character, Morph identifies as non-binary. Whatever that would have been in the 90s. But we're talking about a fictional world, so they could they could have they could have injected it and said this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this work. But they didn't. They decided to go with a subtle approach and add it in and make it feel genuine and make it feel right for the series. And I have to applaud them for that. So big shout out to JP for his activism and all the things he's doing. Shout out to X-Men 97 for a fucking kick-ass cartoon. So far, great start to the season. And I can't wait. Look, if you watch this far, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and become part of the revolution and make a change 
We're going to infiltrate that algorithm and dismantle it from the inside so that we can see more diverse voices in the search feature on YouTube. Right now, it's bogged down by negative channels, uh, anti-channels that like to talk about activism and wokeness, diversity in evil, negative ways. And we need to change that. We need to make a difference. We're already seeing it now. In this article, we're seeing that that's happening. And it's all because of all the work that we are doing as a community. So if you want to do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button to become part of the Ericverse over here. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see some other channels that also do the same thing, sort of, as I do, uh, check the description box down below and get tuned in to a lot of great channels and a lot of great content creators out here uh, fighting for what's right and, and making sure diversity is uh, at the forefront of uh, all of this media and entertainment. We've been doing stuff behind the scenes for a long time and they did not give us our roses and now we're coming to take them. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, have a great afternoon. I'll see you in the next video.